Hey, what's up everyone? It's Letitia with Barefoot Gardening. I hope that you are doing extremely well today. I am loving life. I mean, just, I'm so grateful to be alive and so grateful to uh, be able to share with you all um, on YouTube and in, in the universe, just like what's going on in my life. Um, I am so motivated right now in so many areas of my life. And so um, one of the things though that I have to get done today uh, because I'm so motivated <laughs> is this tag backyard gardener uh tagged me in a why do i garden tag okay so she said letitia there are five questions i need you to answer them post your video whenever you get ready so sorry for the background somebody's cutting something maybe some wood or something but anyway so i'm gonna get through this real real quick y'all because i want to honor that and i'm really grateful that she thought of me uh, to do this so here we go question number one why do you garden so y'all know I'm a beginner gardener um, and I talk about my grandfather all the time my grandparents my great-grandparents had a farm okay and so they are amazing people were amazing people they have since passed away but um, <laughs> they uh, have worked hard all their lives and so really this is in honor of them my grandmother is still alive my mom's mom and she is kicking it and trying to still take care of some cows okay she could barely take care of herself but she absolutely loves her way of life and um, I respect that and I, and I see no shame in uh, black people farming okay and and so i i really have much much respect for them uh but I, I i didn't understand it when i was a kid but now i'm getting it you know how we need to we need to have these skill sets we need to grow our own food we need to understand where food comes from um in the event that something happens she always had stuff canned i mean there was so much food that she had canned so wasn't nobody going hungry in the house right and i feel like we're just missing out we're missing out on that those survival skills you know those those things that we need in order to uh, take care of our families i mean we think that money has everything to do with they didn't have a lot of money um they worked hard for what they had and and so i just want to honor that and so uh yeah that's why i'm gardening um this is it says how long have you been gardening uh going into my fourth year gardening the th one year i just kind of looked at the garden bed i put stuff out there but i just looked at it i didn't water i didn't fertilize i didn't do nothing okay so that hardly counts but yes uh this year i'm not playing i'm trying to learn everything that i can possibly learn and get better so um i you know i'm a beginner gardener i still consider myself a beginner gardener what do i grow i have tried to grow everything this year okay everything except stuff i don't really like or stuff i don't eat and i really uh, think that's a great tip for beginners you don't grow stuff you don't like or eat unless you're growing for somebody else like for instance tomatoes i'm not a huge fan of tomatoes i have learned to appreciate what they are and what they do for people um and i think it's just about finding a tomato that i like so i'm trying to find a tomato that i like um and so that's why i'm growing so many different varieties this year i have 14 16 tomato plants out in the garden but i'm growing everything everything that you could possibly think of i'm not growing uh eggplants this year they just didn't work out um my peppers i'm so upset about those like i had habanero cayenne um i think i had a ghost pepper um, and I haven't been able to grow those either because they didn't do well um, uh, when I was trying to start them. So I missed out on those. But everything else, I, I possibly got like a little bit of everything in my garden. Um, what is the, what is my favorite thing to grow? And I have to say, as a beginner gardener, it's whatever. I have had a ball growing everything, just figuring out how to do it what's the best way to do it and just putting seeds in the soil i love the fact that i can put a small little seed in the soil and out comes this big plant or um this delicious fruit and and all i did was put a seed in this it, that just baffles me it, it it really does um just blows me away and so i'm i'm just excited to grow everything i don't really have a favorite i just want to grow everything okay and then the last one is 
why do I YouTube? And I think I've answered this before um, in a video that I did, but it's really to learn. I mean, I'm learning so much from you all. Before I even had a channel, I was, I mean, I was taking in all kinds of information from everywhere, everybody, the Backyard Gardener, Midwest Gardener, the Millennial Gardener, um, Essie Crumpu and uh, her DIY channel, and she gardens as well. I was looking at... I mean, Callie Kim, Gary from the Rustic Garden. I was looking at um, uh, all kinds of different channels. I can't even name them all right now, but I have really, really, really enjoyed just immersing myself into the gardening community and learning from everyone. And then like, it just gives me help and support um, too, because sometimes I think I'm crazy for doing all this stuff. Like I don't have any reason to be doing this, right? Um, I have a home, I have a nice home. I have a husband that loves me and cares about me. I have a beautiful daughter. I have, you know, money, we, thank God we have some money to live on. And there's no real reason why, you know, people ask me all the time, why do I do this? And I'm like, oh, why not? Why not? I mean, for God's sake, just try it, right? Love y'all, talk to you later.